In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at Sigma and the setup of Sigma. Uh, I already started my Sigma, and uh, what I want to show is we have the libraries, and under the libraries, under the shared libraries over here, we have three different types. We have the Danish ones right now. I want to establish one with the English uh, dictionary, or not dictionary, but a uh, price library. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut down the Sigma program. And uh, I'm going to enter my computer like this. And what you need to do is, if I go down to my C drive right now, I'm not able to see uh, the area that I want to find. And the reason that I can't see that one is because it's, it's hidden. So I have to go under Tools. And if you can't find your tools or your menu bar up here, just go up here and say Layout, Show Menu Bar. But anyways, Tools, Folder Options, go to the you know, Fan View. Under here, you need to you know, have Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives, like this. And at the same time, uncheck this one, Hide Extensions for Known File Types. Once you've done that, you press OK. And the minute I press OK, uh, a folder appears, Program Data. And this is uh, the folder that we're going to be working on in just a short while. Before we do anything, uh, in your OneNote, let me find the right one. In your OneNote, under Building Concepts, Specification, and uh, Analysts, you have what's called Tools for Estimate and Itemize the Budget. You need to download this one. This is the library we're going to be using, or the file that controls the library. And this is the English Red Price Book. Download these two to start with already did that and have them on my desktop. What I want to show you is in this, uh, uh, what you call it, this path. It's actually a patch that I just uh, created. Uh, I'm going to open it in here. Uh, it's not necessary for you to open it. It's just to show you what has been done. There's been created a category. Um, this is the English Red Price Book that we're going to be using in a short while or establishing. And notice here, I need to create a folder that's called the English version and you have to be precise when creating this folder and this folder we're going to be creating in a short while under um, the price database 2014 but right now I need to establish the system or the folder so what I'm going to do I'm going to shut this one down I'm going to open my path one more I'm going to go down to program data. Under here, you need to go under what's called code group. Under code group, Sigma Enterprise, shared. And under shared, you have what's called data. Under data, you actually have the same file right here as you have up here. What I want you to do is the reason that I said uh, uh, that we wanted to see the last names or the extensions is because we're going to change this one. I'm going to right click on this one and say rename and instead of XML I'm going to call this one backup. And the reason I'm calling it backup is because I'm not deleting the file I'm actually just uh, deactivating it like this of course yes I want to rename it. Then I'm going to do this I'm going to take this file right here I'm going to copy it and I'm going to place it or paste it in this library. Now I actually just replaced the file from my desktop to the one in this folder and I still have my original one as a backup if anything goes wrong. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to go back to shared up here. I'm going to go down to shared libraries. Under shared libraries I'm going to go to the one VNS price database 2014. In here I'm going to create a new folder and the new folder was actually the one I showed you in the free XML editor. And here I'm going to new folder and it's called English version like that. Then I'm going to take the English red price book. I'm going to just copy this one and I'm going to place it or paste it in this folder like that. 
the next thing is I'm gonna open my Sigma enterprise and once that one opens it should have the uh, libraries integrated so I'm just gonna say cancel to that I'm gonna open my library I'm gonna go up here uh, to this one and now I have my English version and I have the English red price books which is actually green in this occasion but it's the red price book and if I click on this icon it start loading the library and let's see and uh, there you have you have the English Red Price book integrated directly in your ribbon that's all I wanted to show in this tutorial thanks for watching